Hi, third graders. So we're going to continue with our lessons this week about, oh, can't get my picture to pop up. Um, we're going to continue talking about plot and what plot is. You learned yesterday that plot is all of the events that take place in the story. We learned about problem and solution. Um, and you were supposed to read um, a piece of fiction yesterday during independent reading and determine what you thought the problem in the story was and what the solution is, how the problem was solved in the book. So I showed you all of these books that we've read so far this, well, some of the books that we've read so far this year, and we identified the problem and solution for each one of them. And then this is the book that you listened to yesterday, City's Secrets. Um, after I went back and I thought about this some more, I changed it a little bit. So I decided that I think the main problem in this story was that it, it's really hard to be, it's, it's, what did I write? It is hard to be and stay connected with a loved one when you live far from each other and don't speak the same language. So I think that I changed my mind on the problem. I added a little bit of information to it. But I think that's the real problem in that story. It's just hard to how to stay connected with a loved one when you are so far apart and you don't even speak the same language. But we talked about how they um, solve that problem. Well, City got to visit her, or Mon Mona got to visit her city. And then a couple ways that they solve the problem of not speaking the same language, her father translated. And Siti and Mona also kind of invented their own language so they could communicate. And then I added um, some information here. So another solution was Mona and Siti stay connected because of their love for one another and even through their dreams. Because um, at the end of the book, Mona said that she dreams of her city and she knows that her city dreams of her. So those are some ways that they are able to stay connected um, to one another. So today I'm introducing to you a new part of plot. So we have, this is, this is, it looks kind of like a mountain, right? So here's the beginning of a story. It's also called exposition, but we won't be using that word this year. So the beginning of the story and then the rising action. So in this rising action, those are events that take place in the story. This part up here is what we're going to talk about today. It's called the climax. It's also called, well, climax is actually a word that you're going to be using in fourth grade. But I'm going to go ahead and introduce it to you this year because I think you can handle it. So climax can also be called the high point. It's the high point of the story. Okay, so the climax or high point of the story is when things get really, really exciting. Like something happens. Um, it looks like either the problem that's going on in the story is about to like crash and burn. Things are not going to go well or they could be solved. Something like the action is just built up to the point where you're like, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? So that is called the high point or the fourth grade or higher word is called the climax. It's when the excitement builds up and you're thinking, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Have you ever experienced that reading a book? Well, that is called the climax of a story. And then after the climax is when the problem starts to get solved, right? So that's the falling action and then the end of the story. The end can also be called the resolution. Think about solution, resolution. Um, they're related, those two words are related to each other. Um, it's how the problem gets solved, how the story ends. All right, so I am going to, we're going to go over, so I added a column here to our chart that we've been working on yesterday and again today. Um, and I went back and I got all of these books that that are on the chart and I went back through them and I determined what 
the climax or the high point of the story is. It's that point where you get to like the reader is thinking, okay, what's going to happen next? Like, okay, is this going to go well for the character or is it not? Okay. So what I decided for Miss Malarkey leaves no reader behind. The high point in the story I determined is the teacher is so excited because she thinks she has found the perfect book for the boy. So I even marked the point in the book. So look at this. So she says, have I got a book for you? She is just so excited and she just knows she finally found the book for him. And so you're left thinking, okay, is this really going to happen? Did she really find a book that's going, that he's going to love? Okay. So that's the high point is this problem of him not finding a book that he loves. Is it going to get solved or is it not? So that is the high point. So, um, Miss Malarkey leaves no reader behind. That's the high point. All right. And then we have enemy pie. I decided the, the climax or the high point of the story was towards the end where they had become friends and um, Jeremy, the enemy number one, starts to eat the pie and the main character, which I still don't know his name, the main character like freaks out and panics and tells him not to eat the pie because he thinks it's poisoned. So will Jeremy eat the pie and die? I don't know. Is the pie really poisoned? I don't know. That's the high point. And that leaves the reader kind of climb, kind of like up here at the top of that mountain. Like, is it, is it going to be okay? Or are we going to just like tumble down this mountain? It's going to be really bad. So how is it going to end? Um, that is the high point or the climax of the story. And then Big Al, I kind of struggled with this one because I had two, <clears throat> two things in mind for Big Al and what could be the high point of the, the story. I thought about, could it be when all of the fish got captured by the net? Like, what's Big Al going to do? Right? So I wasn't sure if that was the, the climax or the high point. I'm not, I wasn't sure. But then I read on some more and I think... I think this is the high point. It's when Big Al was captured by the net. So all the fish had decided, okay, well, he's a good guy. He saved us all. And, but then Big Al got captured. And will he be gone forever now that all of the other fish are not scared of him? Like, did this really end like this? All of the other, he, he's, 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 um, made the other fish see that he's not, he's not really scary and mean. And they finally realize that, but then is it going to be over? Is Big Al going to be caught by the fishermen and be gone forever? That's what I decided was the high point because it's like, Oh, he can't be caught forever now. That's no fair. Right? So that's what I decided was the high point or the climax of the story. And then for Thunder Cake, which is the story that you got to hear yesterday, um, I decided the high point of the story was when the big storm finally arrives at the farm and will Patricia be scared when it, when it finally gets to where they are? That's the high point. Like that's what it's been building up to the whole time. That's what the story has been building up to. Okay. It's getting closer and closer and closer how is Patricia going to react when the storm is actually there? Okay. All right. And then I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast. You can always go back and watch this again. If you're still not sure about what high point and climax is. Oh, and I already went over this. So, um, so I hope you understand. Oh, wait, did I already show you this? Yes, I did. All right, so I hope you kind of understand high point and climax. I'm not going to have you determine that with your reading today, but instead what you're going to do is you're going to go back. Actually, I don't know what you're going to do yet, so I'm going to wait and record that next. But um, I want you to um, read independently today, and I will do another 
recording on what your lesson or what your assignment will be today. Um, maybe you need to determine the high point or climax of the story that you read today. That is to be continued, to be, to be determined at a later date. Bye.